Good morning students. Today our topic is representation of number on a bakers. In our last video we have learned to read number on a bakers. So can you tell me which number is this a bakers showing? Yes, you are right. Here are four ones and four tens. Means this a bakers is showing number 44. Now we will learn to represent the number on a bakers. So let's start. Look at this a bakers. It is empty. There is no bead in this a bakers. Now we will show number 32 by drawing beads in this a bakers. First of all, we have to check how many ones and tens are there in number 32. So check the ones place. Which number is at ones place? It is number 2. Now check the tens place. Which number is at tens place? It is number 3. Now we have to draw beads to show number 32. Firstly we will draw beads in ones place. So check the ones place. How many ones are there? There are two ones. So we have to draw two beads in ones place. Now check the tens place. How many tens are there? There are three tens. So we have to draw three beads in tens place. So we have shown number 32 on the awakers. Now we will solve some more examples to understand it more. So let's start. As you are watching, here I have drawn one of acres and here is a number in the box. We have to show this number on the acres. For this we will draw here beads. How many beads we have to draw? We have to check ones and tens place first. Then we will draw here beads. So first of all we will write T and O on the top of this number. Here we will write T and here O. O means ones and T means tens. Now we can easily check which number is at ones place and which number is at tens place. So let's start. First of all, we will draw beads on the ones place. So, which number is at ones place? It is number 3. So, we have to draw 3 beads in the ones place. 1, 2 and 3. We have drawn 3 beads in the ones place. Now, we will draw beads in tens place. How many beads we have to draw? Check the tens place. Which number is at tens place? It is number 1. So, we will draw only one bead here. So, we have drawn beads and we have shown number 13 on the abacus. Now, we have to show number 24 on the abacus. Again we have to draw beads. How many beads we will draw? We have to check how many tens and ones are there. So for this we will write here T and O. Now we can easily check how many ones and tens are there. So check the ones place first. Which number is at ones place? It is number 4. That means we have to draw here 4 beads. So let's start. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here we have drawn 4 beads. Now we will draw beads in the tens place. So check the tens place. Which number is at tens place? It is number 2. So we will draw here two beads, one and 
2. So we have drawn beads for number 24. In this way we can show number 24 on the abacus. Now we have to show number 50 on the abacus. I have already written here T and O. Now we can easily check how many ones and tens are there. So check the ones place. How many ones are there? Here we have zero ones. So we have to draw here zero beads. Zero beads means nothing. We will draw here no bead. Now check the tens place. Which number is that tens place? It is number 5. That means we have to draw here 5 beads. So let's start. 1 2 3 4 and 5. So we have drawn here 5 beads. So we have shown here number 50. In this way, we can show any number on the abacus.